Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Eugene. I am an intuitive, manifesting-based tarot reader. I am a certified Reiki healer and an overall light worker. And before we dive into today's episode, which is actually pretty juicy, I don't actually dwell on this kind of topic a lot, but just for you guys, I'm doing it. I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to so please hit the subscribe button over there. If you like this video later on, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, please comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course. Here are the details. Alrighty, so let's get to the meat of the video. Now. This topic came about because I recently received um, queries about uh, Twin Flames, you know, Faded Lovers, um, Destiny and Fate as well. And I kind of all clumped them together because they follow the same train of thought or they follow the same idea that there is a predestiny, there is something that is predetermined for us, a predetermined lover, a predetermined partner. A predetermined um, job, a predetermined set of experiences that we're supposed to go uh, through or supposed to experience in our lives, right? Now, let's first set um, a very important premise. Uh, there is a book, it's actually right here, there's a book called The Instruction by Ainsley McLeod. I hope. I'm not butchering the name in Sinclair. And in this book, the concept of um, predestiny does exist. Or kind of like, not really predestiny, but experiences which are kind of pre-chosen for you. And that is because in this book, the writer illustrates that um, every time we are born again, because we, we get reincarnated and reincarnated, right? Every time we are born again, our soul level goes higher and higher. We gain experiences from the past life, and after we gain those experiences, and we have all those tools, we have all the things that we want to experience, that we have wanted to experience in that past life, we uh, are born again, we get reincarnated with a new set of things that we want to experience. So, for example... There are, you can be born with the investigation of love, which means that you want to investigate love in this lifetime, which is true for me. And I was also born in this life <laughs> with the investigation of betrayal. And unfortunately for me, that has happened. I have um, experienced a lot of betrayal in the past um, from romantic situations to friends situations even to work situations I've had that experience uh, for myself and th that was an investigation that was clearly very uh what do you call this th that was clearly very evident in my life even without me knowing about the the instruction and without me uh knowing what my soul level is my soul level is nine by the way there are only ten soul levels so yeah um so having said that, everyone is born um, and reincarnated and born with kind of like an idea of what we want to experience. That is perfectly true. Um, our souls are curious to experience what this would be like or what that would be like, you know? But the thing is, even without having this investigation, as humans, we are volatile being, beings. We experience up and downs every day. We go through it in a day, you know. In one day, there are so many emotions to be felt. And there are so many um, beliefs to be created. There are so many beliefs to be destroyed that it's always forever changing. And just because you are born with an investigation doesn't mean that you actually have to go through it. Or it doesn't mean that you actually and truly do have to investigate it, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be reborn with another new investigation if you had experienced it in the past life, right? And the thing is, with all these investigations, with all these things that your soul wants to experience, that's basically what, what an investigation is, what your soul wants to experience 
wants to experience. The thing is, um, these investigations come from our own desire. And that desire is actually expansion, to experience love in all kinds of ways possible, by all means necessary, by all means possible. So I know that's very complex, but I hope that you are able to wrap your head around it so that we get to the next part like really easily, okay? So, having said that premise, the concept of soulmates and the concept of twin flames, you know, it is possible that the person that you're dealing with or this experience that you're dealing with, you've already encountered in a past life. That is very, very true. There are a lot of people who we know now who you've actually experienced in a past life or actually in several past lives. That's why sometimes people that we meet feel like we've known them forever. That's, that's because we probably have. We have probably experienced them so many times in the past already. We just don't remember. But our soul remembers because it's a familiar kind of vibration. However, what happens to you guys, what happens in relation to the experience or in relation to this person is still up to manifesting. It's still up to current manifesting. So it might be that you did meet this person, you did meet this lover already in this past life, and you want to be with them right now. And you're so caught up in finding your, your soulmate, not knowing that your soulmate is actually a person that you choose. You know? It's someone who you choose. It's not the universe picking out a person for you and giving them to you and saying, this is the only person that you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life here and for the rest of your other lives. You know? You have that choice. Everyone has that choice to choose their own soulmate. So when it comes to predestiny and uh, soulmates and even, you know, um, experiencing certain kinds of experiences or situations or going through certain things in life and saying that, oh, it's probably my fate to do this. Oh, it's probably my destiny to do this, you know? The pull is what makes it so. Like, the pull is the only thing that, that makes it feel like destiny, that makes it feel like something that you're supposed to experience. And that pull is mainly for a desire for you to experience it a desire for you to expand, a desire for you to experience the entire thing altogether, you know? Um, let me try and summarize it with, in a really, like, easy, easy way, like in a bite-sized way. So first thing, yes, we are born with a lot of things that we want to experience. We have investigations that we want to check out in this lifetime, you know? And some of them are bad, some of them are good. But number two is, second thing is, we can always choose to change it with manifesting. For example, we've already experienced it once, we don't want to experience it again, boom, change it with manifesting, all right? You're not stuck with a certain negative fate or a certain positive fate or a positive destiny or a certain kind of person. No, you're not stuck with that. The concept Okay, number three, the concept of predestiny does not really exist. There are only people and experiences which you've experienced in the past, maybe in a past life, and you want to experience again. That's why you have like the uh, huge desire to know it again in this lifetime. But the choice of what to do with that, if you do want to experience it, if you do want this person, if you do want another person, is still all up to you and it can change any moment in time. So in a nutshell, all the pre stuff, all the twin flame stuff, all the we are destined to be together or I am destined to do this or I am fated to do this, is really all up to you. There is nothing, the universe is not telling you to go through this, to be with this person, to stay with this person, to choose another person, you know, to have uh, to experience this situation to go through this really bad negative experience no there is none of that the universe isn't saying any of that it actually comes from your own desires and where do your desires come from you know how are or rather how are they influenced 
they are influenced by your beliefs, your whatever you're focusing on, the people around you, the things that appeal to you, the things that don't appeal to you, everything. It's all influencing you and your subconscious, you know? So don't be afraid of, let's say for example, I say for example, the very classic example, and, and no hate here, you know, no hate here, but a little bit of tea and a little bit of shade. Let's say for example that a tarot reader, just like me, <laughs> tells you that, oh, this person is your twin flame. That's putting a lot of pressure in you because you know that you can actually change who your twin flame is. You have like 50 plus twin flames, you know, for, for all you know. And um, even when you look at the Akashic records, the Akashic records are going to tell you that you have this, this many twin flames, etc., etc. But then, so what? Just because they're your twin flame doesn't mean that you can't have someone else. Thousands, billions of people are not with their twin flames and are living happy lives and are living the perfect life and are probably creating that new person as their twin flame. As we speak, you know, they weren't twin flames in the past, but because they chose to choose this person, they chose to manifest this person, whether consciously or unconsciously, they're not twin flames, you know? So the whole point of this actually is for you to really not limit yourself. Just because someone says that, or not really someone, just because the concept of predestiny um, is there, you know? It doesn't really mean anything. It's still all up to you. Your life is still all up to you. If you don't want to be with your twin flame, then don't be your tw with your twin flame. Find a person who suits you now and make them your twin flame so that for the next life, you'll be able to find each other much faster too, you know? Or you'll be able to be, not really much faster, but you'll be able to be familiar with, more familiar with each other if you do meet again in the next life. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't be thrown off by predestiny, fate, destiny, <laughs> um, twin flames again, um, fated lovers, you know, all of those concepts. Everything is still up to your current energy. And you can go to any, any spiritualist, any, you know, like, yeah, any spiritualist, anybody who taps into... Um, like, for example, what Abraham Hicks is, uh, or Bashar, who channels, they will tell you the exact same thing. Seth, they will tell you the exact same thing. There's no such thing as a pre-something. There's no such thing as this experience is something that you have to go through. This person is someone who you have to be with. No, it's still all up to you. It just so happens that you had a desire to experience them in the past, and that's probably why it's familiar right now right? So yeah, I hope that wasn't too complicated. I have no idea if it's going to be understandable. At least I tried to explain it as best as I could right now at least. So yeah, remember you can manifest whoever you want, whatever experience you want. You know, you're not tied down to a person. You're not tied down to a certain experience. You're not tied down to a certain outcome. You're not fated to be like, um, what do you call this, single or in a bad relationship or in a terrible life, having terrible life experiences. There's no such thing, all right? You're only tied down to what your thoughts are, what you feel, think, believe, and focus on because you continuously create your experiences. You continuously create all and everything in your entire life, all right? So I hope that helps. I hope that insight helps. Um, I have no idea where I got that download from, but it's there in my mind. So I hope, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. And if you like this video, give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, comment down below. If you would like to receive notifications of my new videos, please hit the subscribe button over there. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, Online for now, of course. Here are the details. And yeah.
that's it. Stay happy, stay healthy, go live your life, go curate your life to the best way that you can. And I'll see you next time. Bye.